This is a very short slideshow about the world for Japanese. Please share this video with your friends who may be interested in sashiko and boro. The word boro is now known as a Japanese traditional stitching technique for patchworking. In fact, it is not a word for stitching techniques. It comes with many stories, both positive and negative. Unfortunately, in this trend, many stories are filtered out. This channel exists to fulfill something missing. I agree that sashiko stitching in boro is beautiful. However, boro isn't the word for colorful patchwork or whatever patchwork from recycled fabric for sustainability concerns. Both materials and cultural sustainability can happen simultaneously. What we need is to acknowledge both story and people. We, as the ones who are living today, find Boro beautiful. How about those who actually had to stitch? Please look at the photos on this slide. The beautiful Asanoha stitching and patchworks are hiding side of the jacket. It is wrong side because Sam did not want to show off the patches and their stitching. I want to think why they had to stitch. Main reason is because they weren't financially wealthy enough to replace them. Is it ethical to celebrate words without taking them into consideration? That someone's fun paint over the stories? For me, borrow is more like invisible mending rather than visible mending. We do appreciate borrow. Therefore, we try to imagine as much as we can to understand how they stitchers would have felt in stitching. I want you to imagine that as well. Imagination is how we can really appreciate the culture, I believe. I do not like defining words over cultural context without proper explanation. However, when I have to define these two words, I would say Sashiko is a form of hand stitching developed in Japan and practiced in harsh conditions with limited resources. Boro is one extreme outcome of continuous sashiko stitching. Sashiko and boro are more than what and how are introduced in English today. For me, stitching can be one form of praying. Boro is one outcome of layers of praying. Therefore, stories are important to pass down what we have been doing. I believe anyone can practice sashiko regardless of the difference. I do not say only Japanese can ensure the practice sashiko. However, when one excuses themselves from ignorance and indifference, then it can be an issue of cultural appropriation. It isn't difficult to respect other cultures. For me, for sashiko, the only things I would ask is acknowledgement for the people and stories behind the words, sashiko and boro. When we appreciate the stories, when we respect the people behind, what we make can be authentic. The authentic boro exists mainly in memories rather than the record. Therefore, words matter for us. There is no right or wrong in sashiko and boro. There is no textbook to describe what sashiko and boro fully is. However, in today's society, we tend to ask for quick answers. Instant gratification from quick answers do not preserve the culture well. So please keep listening to our stories and hopefully please share it with to someone whom you would care this matter with you. Thank you.